see if that works. Hey, what's up, guys? I just, uh, I, I thought I'd uh, give you guys a little, I don't know if you can see us. I'm, I'm new with this camera stuff, or, or my, my phone is new, so I'm trying to figure it all out. But uh, my last video, I, I, I told you guys that I'm, I'm uh, leaving OTR and uh, doing regional. I'm going to go to regional, I think. I got to talk to somebody about that today, but, um, you know, uh, kind of show you around the house, maybe explain why, um, you know, I don't know why I was thinking my goal was I want to do OTR, go out and, and, and see stuff. And, and, uh, you know, I, I wanted to do that for a year and then, um, uh, go, uh, local or definitely need uh, weekends off. I want weekends off. And that means I want to, Come home Friday and leave Monday. That's what I'm aiming for. And, uh, you know, a uh, big reason, uh, my wife, she wanted two puppies. And I was against it. And I told her when I go OTR, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You go ahead and do it. Well, she went and got two puppies and it's overwhelming with the house that needs to be done. Now she got these two puppies and I feel bad for her. So I give you guys a little tour around the house. I see what I'm up against. I don't know how you, some of you OTR guys do it. I guess maybe you just got hard ass working wives or somebody to help. Or maybe, you know, you don't, I don't know. I came home for the first time and, and I worked my butt off these two days getting everything cleaned up. Uh, I'll give you a quick tour around the house. Show you what I got going on. All right, this is the house. I'm up here in the, I live in the woods. So, you know, we got the, the pool, you know, a little above ground pool. That's gonna have to be open. I gotta bring the filter out. That's a lot of work. That's another thing my wife wanted. I was against it. Oh my God, we need a pool. She's a teacher. Oh my God, I want a pool so bad. I was like, all right, went and got a pool. That filter's gotta come out. That's a lot of work getting that set up. That's probably a weekend or, or a day. Um, you know, here's the house, very small house. Here's the one of the dogs. He ain't too friendly, but uh, believe me, if you were you were standing right here, he'd be going ape shit. But uh, so we got uh, we got the pool that needs to be taken care of. Um, under there, I'll show you what's under there. Maybe someday. That's actually a hot dog cart. That's my passion. That's why I need weekends off uh, coming up. I know I'll get more into that. There's a shed I built. I built that shed and then I built this little over roof thing. And uh, guys might want to check this out real quick. I'll show you guys this. Here's, uh, here's my quads. There's a pallet shed. I actually built this thing out of pallets. And you can see I, I have a lot of landscape equipment. I used to have a landscaping business. I got out of that. There's my zero turn. I got out of that. I, I was just done with it. Um, not very big, but, you know, zero turn. You usually have one employee, but just a lot of work. There's my wife's quad. And of course, I bought for her, and she never does anything with it. Uh, and there's my quad. We go for rides every now and then, but mostly I ride, I ride mine and enjoy it. You know, she was all gung ho when we first got it, but now I'm like, Hey babe, let's go for a ride. She's like, ah, uh, well, this is, uh, this is more of my yard. Come back here and, uh, my little, uh, see if you can see that. There's my burn pit little bridge here's a stream uh, it's not really a stream it's a you can see uh, see that that's a ditch i had to build around what that is that's a mountain right there my yard's very small in the back you can see that's the house a little bit of yard you can see a track i run the quad around here because um there's a lot of work to do i have a little trailer do a lot of work here's the other thing that she has to take care of that i'm not here for and here's the chickens. Now, again, here we go again. You can see there's two pens there. We had the two chickens. I went, 
I wanted the chickens at first, five years ago, got the chickens and they're cool. They're cool. I actually did chickens. I did uh, ducks, rabbits. I was like, man, this is a lot of work. So the chickens started dying off. Bear got a couple raccoons. So we had two left. Now we have a niece and nephew that are about three and they just love the chickens. Well, my wife wanted to go get more chickens. So if you can see that big area there that we built, she had to go get more chickens. I'm like, I'm not doing nothing with them. I took care of the other ones. It's a pain in the ass. Well, she wanted more, I'll do it. I'll take care of it. Well, so now she's got to take care of that other pen and that's a pain in the ass. And I feel bad for her for that. So she's got to wake up in the morning, take care of these chickens, take care of the pups, you know, um, and she's a spin teacher and she's a regular school teacher and she put too much on her plate. It's as simple as that. You know, she put too much on her plate. Now uh, here's the house. Here's the, uh, the creek. They like said we had to die to dig that whole trench out because it was only halfway dug out when we came. I don't know if you can get a good view of that. All that water runs down the mountain and this backyard was getting swamped. And uh, so I went and I dug that out. Then uh, we've got a nice little, this water isn't always running. Just a lot of rain lately. You know, that's another thing. We have a lot of rain. Sometimes the, the, uh, the uh, basement here is right here. That'll get filled up. The dehumidifiers got to be on all the time. That's got to be emptied constantly. That's another thing she's got to do. Like I said, that's why I, I got to get back here at least once a week. I'll show you my pride and joy and the reason I need weekends off. That's my little, my little uh, vending business there. Jay's dog house. And um, it's a tough business, but it's fun. I'll tell you, it's fun. I make what we call lemonade smashers. Um, and I probably right now, I probably only do with the, the, uh, the landscape business and the, the, this business. I was probably doing about 10 festivals a year, 10 festivals with me and somebody else. I'm putting about two, two grand in my pocket. So you can add that up, that's 20. Obviously not enough to live on. Um, but let me tell you, it's cash business. That's a cash business right there. So that's what I want to do. That's why I want to get my CDL and uh, want to get my CDL and and get the weekends off because this year I'm leaving that money on the table and that's tough, man. That's tough leaving that money on the table. But so that's the goal. That's that's the end of my means is is I'm trying to there's river. He did a baby. He did a little baby. Uh, he's uh, ferocious. I'll come in the house real quick. Show you, show you the two pups. Here are the two pups. And this is this is what's giving my wife the hard time, and not giving her a hard time. They're just a handful, man. You got to constantly be on pups. And uh, I knew the work, but now that they, she got them, they're cool as hell. Ooh, this one is, that's Maylee, the one with the white, and this is Meadow. And they're two girls, and they're just babies. Anyway, guys, that's the reason why I gotta go regional. I don't know why I was thinking. You know, I was thinking, oh, I'll do it for a year. She'll be all right. But as soon as I left, I started feeling guilty. First time I came back, I was like, oh, man, I feel guilty. So uh, that's it. I thought, uh, thought I'd uh, give you that quick one and uh, leave any comments, any questions. Uh, I work for Schneider. Uh, been very good so far. Uh, been treating me right. So I've only been there since the uh, beginning of April between orientation and being out in the road. So uh, take it easy, guys. Drive safe. Be safe. Uh, be cool fools and uh, all that good stuff. All right. See you.